Hello everyone. So moving forward in our primer series, in this video, today we will learn about how to search a symbol and we will also learn about how to add custom intervals and what are the shortcuts for it. We will learn about the different chart types and we will also learn about the different indicators, how to apply them on the charts and what are the different settings with those indicators. So let's start with how to put a symbol in a chart. Whenever we are searching for a symbol, it could be an index, it could be a futures, it could be an options or it could be a stock. So there are four categories. So for example, Nifty is an index. So if I search Nifty, now I am getting these three things. This Nifty 50, it is the index. Nifty futures, it is the futures and this is options. So we will explore one by one. Now let me also show you the stock. So suppose I am searching for Reliance. So in case of Reliance, this is the stock, this is the futures and this is the options for Reliance. So now let's start with the index and then we'll also see for the stocks. So if I search for Nifty, you can also filter the search results by these filters. Now this is Nifty 50 index. So if I apply it, suppose you apply any indicator and which is related to order flow. Now you will start getting this message that Nifty is an index. It is not traded in the exchange. Hence, it does not have volume data, right? So why we keep on popping this message? Because many times, many traders are confused that they are not getting the order flow and the bar statistics data in case of Nifty. Okay, so we have to put this message so that they are aware that they are looking for the index. So a very simple solution to avoid this message is suppose you are working in any index, just make sure that you are not applied any indicator which is related to order flow. If you are applying any indicator which is related to order flow, you will keep on getting this message, right? So if I just delete this bar statistics, now I do not have any indicator which is related to order flow. And now I can either zoom in, zoom out, I can do anything. It will not affect. There will be no message. Now let me again search for Nifty. Now here we have Nifty Futures. So if I click once over it, I'm getting the six options. So what are these six options? Nifty 1, Nifty 2, Nifty 3. These are the continuous futures and these are the monthly futures which are actually traded. So these continuous futures have been made by these monthly futures so that we get a continuous chart. Why? Because these futures get expired every month. So the chart will get discontinued. To avoid the discontinuity of the chart, we have created these continuous futures. So here one important thing is that you will not get the real trades on these charts. These are only for charting purpose. So suppose you want to buy or sell the futures, you have to trade these. Okay. So do not apply these charts. If you are to trade on the futures, please apply these charts, even in case of paper trading. Now let me talk about options. So here, if I click on Nifty options, this option chain will get open and I can select any chart. Suppose I want to see this 18,850 put chart. I'll click on it. And now I'm getting the chart of Nifty 18,850. Let me show you the chart for stocks also. So this is Reliance chart. So in case of a stock, you will get this is the cash symbol. This is the future symbol and these are the option symbol. If you click on this, you will get the Reliance stock chart and you will also get the order flow and volume data because this is not an index. It is a stock and it is traded in real. If you want to see Reliance future. For Reliance Future also, we have these six symbols, one, two, three continuous futures, and we also have the monthly futures. So these are the actually traded futures. These are the continuous futures just for the charting purpose. So this was about how to search for a symbol. Now let me tell you about this time interval. Here we have charts starting from one minute to daily, weekly, monthly. You can also make a custom time interval by clicking on the custom. You can select the unit here. Then you can select the scale. It is hour, day, week, month. And if you want those custom interval here, suppose you want to make a chart of 75 minutes, you can make it a favorite. 
and you can add it so this is the chart you are getting for 75 minutes this if you make it favorite it will always be there suppose you want to make one minute as favorite so it will be here so this was about the time interval now i want to tell you about one shortcut suppose you want to put the chart of 15 minutes and if you don't want to click here you simply type 15 and it will add 15 minutes now let's understand what are the different types of charts available with go charting so if you click on the charts, you have different kind of charts like area, we have line, then we have candlestick, then we have hollow candles, and then what not, OHLC, Haikanashi, these are the Haikanashi famous candles, you can see them. Then we have line break, we have Renko charts. Then we have Renko version 2, Beta, Kagi. We have points and figures, Elder Impulse. We also have range bars. Now the most important, imbalance and cluster charts. These two are for order flow. Both gives almost the same data. The only difference is that the imbalance chart give you additional feature, which is called imbalance in buying or selling. So if we select the imbalance and if we zoom in enough, you will be able to see the order flow data. So what are the orders inside a candle? You will be able to see it here. Now, in case of any chart type, suppose it is Haikanashi or it is candlestick or it is imbalance. What you have to do is if you can see it here, there is this arrow. If you click on it, it will be hidden. So all the indicators will be hidden. If you click on it again, it will be opening the settings. So if you click on this settings, you can change the setting of these candlesticks, right? So what are the settings in case of our imbalanced candles? So here you can see the candle colors can be changed. Now, if you want to see the candles, just like a market profile, you can click on here and show profile. Then this is our imbalance setting. So what is the ratio of imbalance? You want to put it here. And if you want to see the support and resistance zone based on the imbalances, you can switch it on. All these uh, features have been explained in detail in various videos. You can go to our order flow playlist and you can watch the videos. We have explained all these features, their significance, their theory, what is the rational behind all these things. It has been explained thoroughly. So this video is just for the introductory purpose who are new to go charting. Then you can also change the colors for the left cluster and the right cluster. Now here we have some important setting. So the very important settings are like, you can also mark the POC for these candles. All right. Then uh, you can mark the VWAP also here. VWAP marker is there. I'll show you some important settings. Like you can add the Delta. So Delta is over here. Now this cot marker is important because many times people are asking for the cot. So you can switch it on or off cot. You can mark the high and low for the cot. Then this unfinished auction is also here, right? So these are the settings in case of imbalance. Then you can also have various kind of candles and their settings. Sometimes some people may say that they are not able to see the candles in their chart. So they will be having a chart, but their charts will be shown like this. So there is no candle. So the very simple reason for that is it is hidden. So you have to unhide it and the candles will come. So this was about the different chart types and how to set those. Now let me tell you about different indicators. So here we have different group of indicators. We have these candle patterns. We have the momentum indicators in this group. We have the most important order flow indicators here, which are market profile, volume profile, BWAP band, BWAP delta bars and we also have the tick version of market profile and volume profile we have oi sense bar statistics and open interest so these are the group of order flow indicators then we have oscillators the overlay is also here and we also have different moving averages here so this is about the indicators now let me tell you how to add few indicators and how to put some settings this is very important so suppose i want to put rsi so this is the rsi so RSI is here. Now I also want to put MSCD. So MSCD is here. So these are the two panes where we have 
indicators now friends suppose you want to play with these pins so what you have to see is can you see these buttons so this is up down and expand and close so you can shift this pin up from the price chart so your rsi is above the candlesticks and mscd is below you can also shift it up you know you can shift them down or you can expand them or the or you can close them you can delete them simply now let me again add these indicators rsi now what if you want to add indicator inside an indicator right so suppose this is rsi this is rsi now again i am telling you this button if you click here the settings will go there is no setting now if you click again you will be able to see the indicators you can hide it unhide it you can see its settings so what are the different settings for in case of rsi you can see it and change and apply it now if you want to delete rsi you can delete it from here now this option is interesting if you click on here you can add another indicator in the rsi so suppose you want to add a simple moving average exponential moving average so you can simply click on it and now you can you see that there is exponential moving average inside rsi so this is indicator inside indicator so this exponential moving average is derived from the rsi now let me tell you a little more interesting feature so this button was related to move the pin up and down now here you can also separate these indicators into different pins what you have to do is simply you have to right click over here now here you have move button so what you can do is move to new pin up existing pin up or a new pin below so suppose i am clicking on the new pin up so the rsi has been moved to a new pin up if i click again on this and move to existing pin up so what is the existing pin up this is the existing pin up so if i click on the existing pin up it will be merged with the price chart now if i again click on the rsi and click is new pin up existing pin below existing pin below is this one and if i click on the new pin below so if suppose i am clicking on existing pin below it will be merged with this and now again i move to new pin up and i move to existing pin up and if i and if i move to new pin below it will be in the new pin below so i hope you got the point now uh, let me move to uh, existing pin below now here i can also merge their scale so if i click right click on any indicator and then i click pin to scale so i can pin to scale rsi or i can pin to scale exponential moving average and i can also pin them to new right or new left right now the scale is into left side pinned i can pin it to the right side also so these are the various indicator settings you should keep in mind thank you guys